The rhizosphere is the region of soil that's influenced by roots. Roots exude many substances into soil, including carbon-rich molecules that are sources of energy and carbon for microorganisms. This process stimulates the food web of organisms around roots. In particular, soil animals increase in abundance in response to an increased activity of bacteria and fungi. Organisms in soil can alter the growth of roots. Some greatly change root morphology and others increase or decrease root growth. Important root functions such as water and nutrient uptake can be modified by the presence of some bacteria, fungi and soil animals. Mycorrhizal fungi are present in all soils and their abundance depends on the type of plant present. The major types of mycorrhizas in agricultural soils are a buscular mycorrhizal fungi. Hyphae associated with them can help the plant explore the soil for nutrients, especially phosphorus when the amount of phosphorus is insufficient to meet the needs of the plant. These hyphae can also explore pockets of water in soil which roots cannot access. The fungi that form arbuscular mycorrhizas draw their carbon and energy supply from the host plant. In exchange, the plant can benefit by gaining access to phosphorus and water if these are in limited supply. Roots are usually colonized by more than one species of mycorrhizal fungus that differ in their ability to form hyphae in soil around roots. The hyphae also help in the formation of soil aggregates which improve soil structure. Symbiotic nitrogen fixation occurs in very close association with roots of legumes. The bacteria are highly specific for each legume and they multiply in nodules that form on roots. Thea bacterial plant association is very finely coordinated by molecular signaling. The bacteria differ in their effectiveness in fixing nitrogen. When used as inoculants, they're selected based on their ability to fix nitrogen and their ability to survive in the soil. Soils contain diverse populations of organisms capable of causing plant disease. This immense range of fungal and bacterial pathogens includes organisms highly specialized in how they interact with plants. Plant disease occurs with different degrees of severity. The severity of disease depends on the abundance of the pathogen which enters roots using highly specialized mechanisms or through wounds on the root surface. But it also depends on whether or not the conditions in the soil are suitable for the pathogen to proliferate. The incidence of some plant diseases is associated with the nutritional status of the plant. Soils can develop natural suppressiveness to plant pathogens. In a healthy soil, the activities of disease-suppressing organisms that occur naturally are maximized. In some situations, organisms can be introduced into soil as biological control agents.